I like some, some stories about a typical day um, in that shop house. Uh, you know, what do, do, do you we, get... Okay. Yeah. As far as I can remember back, probably it's five, when I was about five, six years old, more with my dad. So we do a lot of things like, that is a really nice dad, really gentle, very kind and loving. But anyway, and he's very creative. So he creates toys for us to play. I remember what I can remember is that we were playing with this airplane. You know, it's like we play because we stay in the house now. We're not like we can go to the park or anything. So we were playing with this airplane where helicopter, we pull the string and let the helicopter go. It went up and crashed the lights, of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> you play inside a house. And we used to even remember downstairs, we used to play badminton. Ah. Because, yeah, that's where we, we have no parks. Right? So we played yeah. because the house there, they're quite white, you know, it's like quite high ceiling. As a kid, you just play badminton in there. And then after that, sometimes bats comes in. And we use the bats as our badminton shuttle courts as well. Wag the bats and let it go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there, I mean, like there, we don't usually have parks or anything. So the neighborhood kids are our friends. So the next to us is uh, they sell the medicine. It's like a Chinese medical hall. So they import all the Chinese medicine herbs. And of course, they also have stacks and stacks of those Chinese herbs stacking. And for us kids, we play a uh, we play hide and seek or we play um, whatever games. And I remember one day I climbed and climbed up to the herbs, all the sacks of the herbs, and then fell down. And lucky thing fell down to where the grandmother's bed was. So I didn't die. <laughs> so like, where over to the bed? So it's like quite high. That means you stack up about like probably yeah, three ceiling. meters high. Yeah, like from the ceiling. <laughs> so we play things like this because that's what we do. We hang around and play things like that. Or we play card games, you know, it's like those family card games or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, hmm, that's our childhood days. You know, it's like we don't go to the parks much or whatever. So we do. I'm, I'm sure that, that, that there will be hawkers who will pass by the house. Who, who yes, used to, at night. So what, we, what hawkers were there? So we do have like the Bapao men the one who sells the dumpling and no my kai. Yeah, so they sell. So there will be, at night will be those hawkers. So we are always full of, like hawkers are there always at night. So that was something that at night means after dinner, you still can go and get, just walk, walk for probably uh, 50 meters. You get hawkers food. They sell uh, mi goreng. The mi goreng man will be there, mi rebus, and then the saho fan, you know, cha kui tiao. At night, you can all those. And then there will be the ting ting roti. So the roti man will come ting 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 ting. So you buy your bread. From, yeah. So not that you pick up from supermarket or bakeries now. Yeah? yeah. So those people will cycle with all their bread in there. And also behind my house, actually, like that long house that leads to Victoria Street. So behind Victoria Street there, there is a Indian bakery, which is a like they are the one that actually distribute to all those little Ting Ting Roti Man, you know, so those Roti Man will go and collect all their rotis from them. So that's that's actually one place that I really enjoy too. In the morning, you can go and wait and in the big oven, it's huge, huge oven that where they put all their bread in. So the oven could be like easily maybe about uh, three meters long, right? Yeah, and one one or one and a half meter high, those huge ovens, and they produce all those their bread. So we always get nice warm bread there. Yeah, uh, so we can always put morning time for us is always going up to buy hawker's food. There's so much hawker's food where I used to live, I'm quite lucky. So B Street is very long. So there's one side of it is the financial where all the banks and everything are. But our middle side is more of uh, where the Chinese traders uh, are. So a lot of people are just doing trading and all those things so and here is a lot of food so that financial part by night is all quiet but our side is there's still a lot of food so people will just buy but also in my neighborhood of course down further down from beach street you go further down is where all the the triads area yeah yeah, so, yeah. you know yeah so you have a lot of all those things over there too so some of it i guess have come to our side so sometimes as a kid as well, um, you see drug dealers and you see them actually dealing with drugs. 
on a bicycle and then you can see them holding something, passing it on each other. I remember one day in my car, I parked my car outside and I remember someone actually put something on top of my tyres and then the next minute somebody cycled by, pick it up and off they go. Oh, I see. So you see things like that. Yeah, but if you don't disturb them, they don't disturb you. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So my area is quite, not to say very notorious area, but like there are things like that going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so that opens right. your eyes to see things as well and to know where you should interfere, where you should not. You know, it's not about, yeah. oh, he's drunk. There's drug dealing here. You report them. You know, it's like, yeah, maybe it's not a good, not as a good citizen that you're not reporting them. But sometimes in life, you know, things you have to just leave it as it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the, 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 yeah. Sometimes it's just better to just let it let it be. It's, it's like part of the the maybe part of the culture. I I I I, I can say that it, it's not like it's it's really terrible where they're abducting children and they're also forcing. Um, you know, prostitution dance here and there and yeah. whatnot. So yeah. I think that then you have to put, try and put a stop there. But if it's just, um, yeah, very small, then what, 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 what can you do anyway? You know, yeah. If you report one, the next one will come up. Yeah, you know, so this guy goes still, well. the next one will come from. Yeah, know, anyway. yeah, true as well. Yeah. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll have to go and cycle there again. <laughs> yeah, you should. 